Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show, Season 3, Episode 6. I hope you all are having a lovely day. It's been a fantastic week of football with Premier League starting off banging in with the most unexpected results as well with Bundesliga, with Bayern doing, eh, as uh, Steven Gerrard would say, eh. But you know what I mean, haha. And also with the Italian league doing good as well, and then Champions League is coming banging in with some beautiful games. And ah, that's all I'm gonna say. Ha. Huh? Okay. Well, let me do introduce you to a guest in the show, Rodney and Edward Mendy. How are you doing today, a Chelsea fan? <laughs> Rodney. Um. Well, I'm here. Rodney's here. Um. Edouard is crying somewhere at the moment. Backs. Um. He won't be here to, uh, pr- tonight, but um, I will be here representing him as representative, and we're doing we're we're doing better. We're um, it wasn't the best today, but we're doing better. I'm glad to be on the show. Yes, lovely to have you on. Okay, and then also let me introduce uh, another guest on the show who's been here before, Xander, who is a Liverpool fan or Chile. How are you today? Um, yeah. Well, you know, football's almost back, so coping. Okay, well, yeah, I'm glad at least the Packers will come give you some yeah. happiness that Liverpool yeah. cannot give you. It's okay. That, that, that's where I'm at at the moment. So. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, and then another guest in the show who's been here multiple times. Always love to have him. Emilio, who is a Manchester United fan, who his team did not play the past two games. I, I wonder what... Oh, sorry. You're up late, but how are you? Oh. Uh... <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you know what? I am doing fine until that moment, but I'm not mad because my my team is starting to look like Manchester United. We we don't look like Brentford. Yeah, and not like the it's, this Manchester United. You had to mention the Fergie Manchester United, not not. The, uh, yeah, Ma- yeah, the Fergie Manchester United, not Mourinho Manchester United. Yep, yep. There you go. You gotta you gotta use that keywords. <laughs> okay, <laughs> lovely to have you on, and everybody, welcome to the show. Was listening on YouTube and on Spotify. Lovely to have you guys all back on for season three, and this is gonna be. I am containing my emotions right now because I am, ah. Uh, Uh, I could, I was yelling, I was yelling earlier, I was screaming, I was pulling my hair like Shakira in one of her music videos, but it was just, oh, it was terrible. All right, well, let me first get into the Premier League, the best league in the world, according to money. All right, well, first place is Arsenal. Second place is Manchester City. Third place is Tottenham. Fourth place is Brighton. And fifth place is Manchester United. And the 20th place is Leicester City. All right, match day six, let's get into it. Everton, Liverpool. Nail to nail there with the, with the Riverside Derby, Mer- Merriside Derby, excuse me. Then Tottenham, Fulham, two to one for Tottenham, escaping with a three points. Nottingham Forest and Bournemouth, great game there, three to two for Bournemouth. Chelsea, West Ham United, Chelsea escaping with luckily three points, two to one for Chelsea. Brentford, Leeds United, five to two for Brentford, great result for Brentford. Wolves, and U Southampton, one to nil for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Newcastle and Crystal Palace, nail to nail. Great job for Crystal Palace defending <laughs> Newcastle. Bless you. Austin Villa and Manchester City, one to one. It's a draw there. Great job for Stephen Gerrard's Austin Villa side for keeping a draw. Brighton and Leicester City, five to two for Harry Potter and Brighton. So great job for Brighton, keeping up their great form. And then Manchester United and Arsenal, one of the games of the weekend, three to one for Manchester United. Let me hear a come on, you. Come on, United! Let's yeah. go! <laughs> uh, happiness. I don't know what that feels like. All right, well, let us first get into Tottenham and Fulham. I mean, Harry Kane and then Mitrovic, one of the two best strikers right now in the Premier League. So, but Tottenham coming up with 2-1. to one. Then Chelsea and West Ham United. Rodney, did you happen to see this game? Did you happen to watch it? Did you happen to glance at it? Did you happen... Or just uh, they did watch the game, and um, let me just say we got a uh, we 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 scraped by. It was a very controversial game, and rightfully so. Yep. Um, I'm gonna be real. As a Chelsea fan, we should not have won that game. Um, Ed, wow. there's also the reason why Eddie's not here. He did not respond to the comments regarding his own um, injury, mm-hmm. um, from the game because, from what most people can say and tell, it looked like he faked it. Um, why would my a opinion, goalkeeper fake it? <laughs> I mean, it was either that or they would have scored a goal to tie it to get only one point. So, 
he said no comment. Um, as his representative, I'm going to say he didn't fake it. But from the people's point of view, he, he faked it. He faked it. Um, yeah, but if you clearly see the videos back, he he got, like, cleated in the rib. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. The chess, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I, as a Chelsea fan, man, I'm gonna be honest. I, I think, I, I think he, he, he was definitely kind of kidding a little bit. I think, honestly, I think West Ham was, I think West Ham should have draw, drew that game and, and maybe even potentially won it, honestly. Yep. Yep. But yeah, so, Chelsea scraping my other point, but hey, they needed those three points. Very crucial. All right. And then also we can go over Manchester City and Austin Villa. Like, oh. Austin Villa just absolutely doing great defensive work with Steven Gerrard's side and happily getting a point. Of course, you know, who else would score for City but Holland? So he's a monster. No surprises there. Then Brighton keeping up their beautiful form. Do you want to talk about Holland, Emilio? I heard a, a slight gasp or a slight, yeah. I I mean, there there's there's no, uh, you know, Ho- Holland, he's the one of the, one of the, what, well, Best strikers Premier League has ever seen, but yep. uh, but yeah, no, I I don't think any force except for for I think Virgil Van Dyke <laughs> or <laughs> or shall I say Harry Mc, Harry Maguire could oh. uh <laughs> could stop him, but uh, he's he's an absolute beast. It's very true. Harry Maguire would have him in a box. He wouldn't know what to do. Facts. Actually, you know what. Xander is speaking facts for once in his life. Good job, Xander. Thank you. <laughs> you gotta love right. the McGuire takes. Yes, very true. Okay, well, Emilio, Manchester United, Arsenal. I did watch this game as well, too, just to want to see Manchester United get battered. But, you know, <laughs> my luck just doesn't go towards me for the past couple months. But it's fine. It's lovely. But, hey, take <clears> four. <throat> you are the dancing queen. Let's see how you dance. Hey, okay. For... Firstly, bringing Anthony onto the the starting squad against Arsenal, it was it was lovely to see. He was having so much fun did you, with the with some with some skills he had that I I didn't that I've never saw uh, since Ronaldo <laughs> prime Ronaldo anyways. Um, but it was it was a fir- it was a good first goal for his debut. Actually, I was uh, I was telling I was telling my my mom, because she watched it with me as well. I was like, "Hey, he did good for um his first his first game as Manchester United, and then the two goals from Rashford." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. 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 I mean, right. Uh, Rashford at Rashford at the moment, he's. He's. I decent. mean, yeah, yeah, he's decent, but he's shaky. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sure. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, but, but uh, I'm I'm really happy that Anthony got his had, got his uh, first uh, Manchester United uh, goal. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, to pay 100 million uh, euros for a fidget spinner, you you would think they he could score some goals. So I'm glad that Manchester United put the fidget spinner to use and you know spun that into the back of the left corner of the net. So hey, good on for Anthony, right? Yeah, yeah, and I can't I can't. You know what? I can't wait to see if they're gonna put uh, Ronaldo and Anthony on the same pitch to see how that goes. Oh, that's an interesting. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know either. But, but I, I would like. I would like to see that personally as a United fan. I would like to see them both together. Uh, that's as cute. as strikers uh, to see how they do on the offensive. Yeah, I mean. Like, like, like you said, like you do have so much time to switch around and do tactics, and at least you have a great squad that has a fighting. Sp- ah, I wouldn't say it's completely there, but at least they have like something to go for. So, hey, yeah. this game really showed something for them. So, yeah, honestly, we great. we look we looked like the uh Fer- Ferguson's Manchester United. All right, calm down, we, there, buddy. We, that's, that's we are okay. starting. We are starting to look more like Manchester okay, United more, than we did before. Good, good. There, there we go. go. Like yeah. that. Is that, that more like it? Keyword, keyword. That's a okay, keyword. Okay. Yes. We are starting to look more like Manchester United more. than we Wait, did. Say in it one more time. Say say it one more time. More like Man United. There we go. Let's go. Just making sure everybody gets it. <laughs> okay, yeah. But do you guys any have anything else you want to say about Premier League? I know there's some belting games coming up next weekend. So, anything else for this lovely league, Xander? Liverpool, 
Liverpool Everton was a pretty great game for a zero zero. Yeah, about as well, good as it can get. You woke up for that one, huh? Oh, I I watched it bright and early. Yeah, did Maybe you? Maybe know? like two hours after it aired, but I. Oh, it. okay. I see. It's fine. It's kind Some of us may or may not have been out late the night before. Who's to say? Oh, you're you're pre gaming for the game, but you just got two <laughs> pre games, huh? Uh, who's to say? So. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> lovely. So, all right. Now let's go to La Liga, and first place is. Real Madrid, second place is Barcelona, third place is Villarreal, fourth place is Real Betes, fifth place is Osasuna, and 20th place is Cadez. All right, match day four, let's get into it. Celta Vigo and Cadez, 3 to nil for Celta Vigo. Melorca and Girona, 1 to 1 with a draw there. Real Madrid and Real Betes, 2 to 1 for Real Madrid. Benzema. Real Sociedad and Atalogo Madrid. One to one draw there. Sevilla and Barcelona nil to three for Barcelona. Osasuna and Real Vallecano two to one for Osasuna. And then Atletico Club in Espanol nil to one for Espanol. Villarreal and Elche four to nil for Villarreal battering Elche. Valencia and Getafe five to one for Valencia. Aye, aye, aye. And red cards for both because they're both not. Hey, Villarreal and Armenia one to nil for Villarreal. All right. Can we say anything else besides uh, Barcelona and their terrific form now? Ronnie, do you wanna you wanna take this away? I mean, so I only I only watch the highlights for this game. Um, okay. I'm just excited for I'll say week in week out. Our front three is so exciting to watch. Um, it's Lee Wandowski. Um, everyone knows. Everyone at least even I had a thought when he was coming from the quote unquote Farmers League. There might be some adjustment, but there's been none needed. He's always been a world-class striker at each and every club he's been to, from Borussia to Bayern to Barcelona. That and the great service he's getting, not just from Mbele, but from uh, Fatih, uh, the, just the pieces that they have around him fit Lewandowski because mm-hmm. even though he's getting old and is and he's not as fast or as agile as he used to be, he is a true goal scorer. And so the energy that surrounds him, the the the, the key passes that they have, I think this the style of which Barcelona play fits Lewandowski per Lewandowski per, perfectly. Because um in his old age, he needs that kind of energy around him and just just give him his main job of just scoring goals. And that's all he's been doing. And I think everything's clicking all cylinders. Um yeah. even Kunde got um was gave an assist to uh, Lewandowski from uh pretty far out um the defense is looking good we don't have uh, i love i love old man pk but he's too old now and I, i'm loving having uh, uh araujo and kunde and sergi roberto back there um we may need a new right back in the future back there but Don't right now the best, new... no he moved to milano yeah. yep we loaned I, we actually know we sold him we didn't i don't think we loaned him out we sold him does Shelby um, not like him or well <sighs> The thing was, he, I, if I remember from what I saw from the reports, is that in the long term, it just wasn't a system. He wasn't going to fit the system. Mm. Um, but the good, the good side of this, in my opinion, coming out of it, is I think we either got a loan or we bought back Hector Bellerin. Um, he's, 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 he grew up in the Barcelona system, so he can fit right, in my opinion. And I think having Sergio Roberto and Hector Bellerin at the right back position is going to work out through the whole year. Um, and we still got old man Jordi Alba and um, I think his name, the youngster Balde at the left back position. Yeah, he's good. Um, he's good. He, he's very good. And I think he'll be a successor to Jordi Alba. Um, so I think defensively, even though there's some worrying sparks here and there, we're going to be set for the season, man. It's looking, I think we will either win the Champions League or win the league. And I think we're going to win one of them, honestly. Mm, okay. Well, hopefully that happens. I mean, you'll definitely probably win a trophy. I mean, there are the Mickey Mouse trophies that they have over there. So the I forgot what it's called. The uh couple of the ring. Couple of the yeah. Ring. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely win one. So yeah. we'll see. Yeah. All right. Any other comments about La Liga? Any have you watch any other games for this besides I watched Real Madrid as well too a little bit, but in Atletico Madrid, but that's about it. Nothing too iffy to say besides Barcelona and Real Madrid are top top teams. And Villarreal as well too. So. Well, like like Rodney said, Lewandowski, Lewandowski is is uh, the 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 top well best or top goal scorer that 
any anyone has ever seen even in his old age he he can he can still uh he can still make goals yep um is that all you <laughs> is that all you gotta say Emilio? you got I always got like a dramatic pause where you sound like you're gonna keep going yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> no yeah that's it <laughs> That sounded, uh, <laughs> sorry. That, that sounded like in the sideman reacts where Vic was like, to be fair though, and they were like waiting for a minute. And they're like, wait, what? What 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 is that for? So okay, well, thanks, Emil. Great input. Great, absolute great banter. It really is. I, I am not the big star of this show. Just uh... <laughs> oh, that, that would be a low blow. Okay. Well, now let us go to Syria. And first place is Atalanta. Second place is Napoli. Third place is Etsy Milano. Fourth place is Udinese. Fifth place is Roma. And 20th place is Monza. Every time I do this, my hand just like goes to a form to do like the Italian hand gesture where I'm like, just like, you know, doing the help me. No, why did I say help me? I was about to say help me. I don't know why. Because I was thinking about Mario. It's like, help me, Mario. I feel so bad right now. I'm so sorry, everybody. All right, match day five. Let me get into it and stop talking. Florentina, I'm still doing the hand motion. And Juventus, one to one there. Nice draw. Not nice for Juventus. Uh, Etienne Milano and Inter Milano. One of the games of the weekend. 3-2 to two for Etienne Milano. Lazio and Napoli. 1-2 to two for Napoli. Cremonese and Sassuolo. Nil to nil there draw. Spezia and Bologna. 2-2 two to two draw there. Verona and Sampdoria. 2-1 to one for Verona. And Udinese and Roma, 4 to nil for Udinese, battering Jose Mourinho's Roma side. Ah, yeah, yeah. Then Monza and Atalanta, nil to two for Atalanta. And then Salentana and Empoli, 2 2 draw there. And then Torino and Lis, 1 to nil there. I mean, I did see the Milano and Inter Milano game, and whoa, this was a great game. It was a great game for both sides. Maybe not as much for Inter Milano because AC Milano did look more fluid in their play and looked much more better counterattacking. But yeah, AC Milano got their vital three points there and beautiful Milano derby. Yeah, Milano derby there. Uh, anything you guys want to say? I mean, besides Roma getting absolute battered by Udinese, I don't. Udinese has just been doing great this season. I don't know what else to say. But anybody want to take the floor? Uh, I'm I'm gonna have to question I'm gonna have to question Juventus's goal, <laughs> this the stomach goal that <laughs> was it was um was against uh Flor- Florent- Florentina. Oh, I, I don't I don't think we should have I don't think Juventus should have. I thought it was offside at first. Yeah. I thought it was offside, but then I saw that that I don't know if you call that a stomach goal or or a chest goal, but it's like, huh? I I just I just don't know. I I. I feel like Flor- Florentina would have won one nil. Yeah. Uh, it is it it that's the way it goes. I I don't I don't know what else to say about that besides that. But yeah, I mean, did, did any of you watch the Roma Udinese game? Like no, uh, four to nil against Roma. That's especially Jose Mourinho's defensive side with AC Milan. I would expect maybe they were just saving their players for the Champions League games and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, well, now let's go to Bundesliga. Yeah, all right. First place is Freiburg. Second place is Borussia Dortmund. Third place is Bayern. Fourth place is Union Berlin. And then fifth place is Mainz. And then 18th place is Wilhelm Bochum. Match day five, let's get into it. Dortmund and Hoffenheim, 1-0 to nail for Borussia Dortmund. Union Berlin and Bayern Munchen, 1-1. One to one. Tie for Bayern Munchen. Disappointing result for them, but Union Berlin is doing great this season. Bayern Leverkusen and Freiburg, great game here. Two to three for Freiburg, getting the vital three points. Wolfsburg and Köln, two to four for Köln. And then Stuttgart and Schalke, one to one with a draw there. Stuttgart with a red card as well, being bad. Bochum and Werder Bremen, nil to two for Werder Bremen. Eintracht Frankfurt and RB Leipzig. I'm happy. Four to nil for Eintracht Frankfurt, absolutely destroying RB Leipzig and Timo Werner's side. We still love you, Timo, though. Augsburg and Hertha Berlin, nil to two for Hertha Berlin. Then Bayern München Gladbach and Mainz, nil to one for Mainz. They are red card for Bayern München Gladbach. Not a. I mean, Bayern is doing some disappointing results. Two tie. I mean, not. They've won three games and had two ties, but that's like not really disappointing. They still haven't lost a game, but 
this isn't the Bayern that we used to see with Lewandowski and I don't know. It feels like they're missing a key aspect to their play. But even though Mane is great and their team looks brilliant as always, but still, if you lose a striker like Lewandowski that glued your team together, it, it hurts your team. It hurts it bad. I mean, any anyone else want to say anything about the Bundesliga and Bayern München's disappointing results? Not, and, and not Over. all that. Yeah. This is the end. What'd you They'll say? Probably, this is the end. They'll probably never finish top three again. Wait. Bayern? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Hold your horses there, pal. Oh. Hold your horses. Oh. Do, you your, do you not believe in your boy uh, Sadio to carry them? Oh, no. This is over. They had their run. It's salty. It's time oh. for Dortmund to take <clears throat> over. Uh oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Hmm. But but did Dortmund, Dortmund just lost Holland though? They got to fill that void as well as well. And Hollier is still, I think, uh, injured. So they they don't really have a true true and out 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 striker right now. It's true. Yeah, here they are higher than Bayern. But they oh. did lose a game, and Bayern hasn't lost a game yet. In the long run, that's going to hurt them more, in my opinion. Yeah. How is it going to hurt them more? Having more points is going to hurt them more. No, I'm just saying the the losing a game versus two draws. I'd rather take two draws than losing a game. Mm. Mm. I mean, I mean, maybe for morale, it's not. But it's like you play to get the most points. It's like that, that's the whole point. It's true. That's the whole point. But I'm just saying, in the long run, getting zero points versus getting two points, even though they're small points, still adds up, and I think it'll come back to bite them. I I just I don't I don't agree. I feel like you you go for the most points. It's like if you say you can go a stretch where you win one game and lose one or tie two, I feel like you take the win one lose one. True, true, true. true. I'm just saying. I feel like Dorm, uh, Dorman's going to lose more games and they're going to draw or even win more games than Bayern. In the long, I feel like Bayern may draw a couple more than Dortmund, but they're going to win more games. That's we'll, real. We'll see. We'll see. Let's, let's be real. Bayern is going to win it. Come on. Yeah, it, it, it's Bayern. Uh, Dorman's going to do a flip-flop just like Arsenal and go back to like third, fourth place. And The only way Dorman can be on top of Bayern is what Bayern does to Dorman. Just Dorman buys all their Bayern players, which is never going to happen. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I, they got a plan. They got to start Trojan horsing players. Hype them up. <laughs> Trojan them real horsing bad. players. <laughs> <laughs> and go about it that way. That's, that's the a, way to go. That's new terminology. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You should be their uh, CEO or director then, Xander. I <laughs> might want to make some recommendations for you to go over to Bruce Dortmund. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I can make it happen. Yeah. yeah. And also be their spokesperson. <laughs> Trojan <laughs> horsing <laughs> is just... <laughs> I have no words, everybody. I have no words, but that is a, that's just beautiful. Full term. I think Agent Dimitri would be part of that one, honestly. So, <laughs> Right. Now, let us move on to Liga 1. And first place is Paris. I mean, Qatar. I mean, Paris Saint Germain. Second place is Marseille. Third place is Lyon. Fourth place is Lyon. Fifth place is Lille. And then 20th place is Ayakio. And match day six. Let us get into it. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Aya and Marseille. Nil to two for Marseille. Lyon and Angers. Five to nil for Lyon. Battering Angers. Nantes. And PSG nil to three for PSG, comfortable win for them. And red card for Nantes as well, being naughty. Montpellier and Lille one to three for Lille. Red card for Montpellier, uh, naughty. Rhyme and Lille one to one their tie and a red card for Lille being bad. Ayoko and Loyant nil to one for Loyant. And then Clermont Foot and Telehouse two to nil for Clermont Foot. And Brest and Strasbourg. One to one and a red card for Strasbourg being naughty. Toyas and Ariane, one to one red card for Toyas tie there. And then Nice and Monaco, nil to one for Monaco. All right. Uh, PSG won the league. Any other comments? Concerns? No? I saw I saw Neymar with a really cool jacket on. So I feel like <laughs> good for them. Like he he oh, had they- that on. PSG oh, yeah. does have pretty cool merch. So yeah. I'll admit. they got they got the good vibes, good merch. It's like easy, easy league. It's like it's all set up for them. Yeah, I mean, boom, 
Uh, any other comments, concerns, questions about life? No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, forget the forget the game. <laughs> PSG got some cool some some uh, cool merch. I, I I did buy some, so hey, I don't That's blame it. Hey. <laughs> yeah, love the Jordan collabs. There you go. All right, <laughs> now let us go on to the Champions League and start my pain. All right. The <laughs> Yeah, it's back. It's back, everybody. We're happy. Yes, it's lovely. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, okay. We have to do this, lads. We have to do this. All right. So, group stage, match day one. Let's get into it. Dinamo Zagreb and Chelsea. One to nail for Dinamo Zagreb. Great win for them. Then Dortmund and Copenhagen. Three to nail for Dortmund. Good win for them. Basic win. Benfica and Maccabi Haifa. Haifa, 2 to nil for Benfica. Great one for them. Sevilla and Manchester City, 4 to nil for Manchester City. Why did I just sing that like Adele? Damn, sign me up. But it's a hat trick for Holland. I mean, it's, it's, he's, wait, did he get a hat trick or did he get two goals? I believe he got two goals. Never mind. But yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Someone back me up with this, please. Pack trick me, I think. Am I right or am I right? Am I? Say it confidently enough, and you're going to be right either way. I agree um, with him in that statement. No, Ruben Diaz scored one, Phil Foden scored one, and then Haaland scored two. But yeah, lovely. All right, then RB Leipzig, Salzburg, sorry. And Etienne Milano, one to one, disappointing draw for Etienne Milano. Celtic and Real Madrid, nil to three for Real Madrid. RB Leipzig and Shakhtar Donetsk, one to four for Shakhtar Donetsk. Good win for them. PSG and Juventus, I think this was a beautiful game. PSG 2, Juventus 1. All right. And then today happened more games. Ajax and Rangers 4 to nil for Ajax. Inter Milano and Bayern München nil to 2 for Bayern. That doesn't tell the scoreline because it was much closer of a game than that. And then Eintracht Frankfurt and Sporting Lisbon. Sad times for Frankfurt. nil to 3 for Sporting, beating out the Europa League winners of last year. And then Barcelona and... Victoria Plezien. I don't know. Barcelona 5 to 1 for Barcelona. Napoli and Liverpool 4 to 1 for Napoli battering Liverpool. Sorry, Zinner. Atletico Madrid and <laughs> it's okay. And Porto 2 to 1 for Atletico Madrid. Red card for Porto being Note. Is it Pepe? Never know. Tottenham and Marseille 2 to 0 for Marseille. Red card for Marseille being Note. And Tottenham win that game, of course. <laughs> Hurricane. Then Club Bruges and Le- Bayern Leverkusen. One to nail for Club Bruges beating out Bayern Leverkusen. All right. Um, I can go first. Chelsea, Dynamo Zagreb, and Dynamo Zagreb, and all over the place they started Aubameyang and Sterling, Havertz, and uh, yeah, yeah, and they missed their chances. They got bit in the butt. They deserved it. And boom. That's Ronnie. Any other question? Any other one thing you want to say about that? Um, can I just be silent, please? I just want to go. I just want to go. Um, trick on rice and sleep in the shower. So, um, I'm gonna go do that real quick and probably <laughs> come back. We love the Bazinga reference. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I agree with you. Yeah. Um, all right. Do you guys want to talk about any other games besides, you know, Hazard doing beautiful for Real Madrid getting a goal there? So, that was a great game. Then PSG and Juventus and Mbappe. What do you expect from him? And and but no one more. No, I don't want to make him up with jokes, but he's gonna kill me. <laughs> and then um, yeah, but he scored two goals, and Juventus scored one. This was a closer game than I would think so, but yeah. And uh, Manchester City, Holland, doing what he does best, scoring goals. Inter Milan and Bayern Munich. That was a great game as well too. And for Bayern, Sané scoring a goal, and I believe did Sané score a second goal or that was. Yes, yes. All right, I said it, and I'm confident. That's probably not right, but I'm confident. All right, I mean, Barcelona, do you want to talk about it, Ronnie? Did you happen to watch the game, anyone? Barcelona? So I watched, I watched the highlights. Um, yeah. Same thing like in La Liga, man. I, I, at Barcelona, I think it's the scariest team this year by far of all the teams in all leagues. If if they – even if they had to pick up any injuries, they're, they're, they're stacked. Um, bench wise, like pancakes they, at IHOP. Wait, IHOP? Ooh, I love me some fat pancakes. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you said, yeah, I heard pancakes. I love you pancakes. I said pancakes? Like, like the pancakes at IHOP, they stacked. 
Oh, well, they are stacked in more ways than one. So, what does anyway, that mean? <laughs> um, well, I mean, just look at Lewandowski, man. Them glutes, there's a reason why he's scoring all them goals. Um, um, <laughs> let me stop. Um, no, um, just the same thing as before in La Liga, man. They're, they're, I, there's nothing wrong with them anywhere, even bench wise, um, defensively in the midfield and offensively. Um, if let's say, worst case scenario, even if Leon Golski gets injured. You still have Depay on the bench, man. Um, you have Veron Torres, who scored, uh, even though it was in the, it was in the last couple minutes, mm-hmm. scored a, a really good goal. And Dembele is turning into freaking um, De Bruyne with these assists. Like I, I, the way he's a, he's he's turned from a, a, a more of a goal scorer to a more of an assistant assist man now, and he can still do both. So I mean, him. Um, because both feet, he's 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 on both feet. He can he's insane. So defenders don't know what to do. So it's it's it leaves literally almost no options to defend him. So he's turned into I think one of the top assists assisters in Europe right now. And so it's just that, that whole team is scary, man. That, it's, that whole team is scary. I'm I'm really happy this year, man. Even yeah. though they sold our even though we sold our souls to to Spotify and everyone else, I think it might have been worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to know how that happened because you might end up in the ditch. All right. Well, Napoli, Liverpool, Xander, did you happen to watch this game and go through the pain and torment? Yeah, I saw Louis Diaz on the field. I'm not sure any other players were there, but mm. he looked like he was having Facts. some fun out there. And it, it was pretty cool to watch him play. Yeah, I mean, Louis Diaz, I love the Colombian. Is he? He's Colombian. Yeah, he's Colombian, I believe. Yeah. He's whatever he wants to be. He he can do whatever he pleases. Okay, but the fight he no wait, Louis Di- is he is he Portuguese or Colombian? I feel like he's I'm, Portuguese. He's Colombian. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. He is. He's yeah. He's Colombian. Was, oh yeah, you're right. Don't second guess me, Sarah. But yeah, he's the only person that actually showed fight and passion with Liverpool, which is very sad because what a team like Liverpool do you expect? You know. Playing Napoli, playing an Italian team to <laughs> do good at least, but that's it's just sad to see the Liverpool side like that. But then Luis Diaz with the actual, you know, he shows fight and the way he played just makes it seem like everybody else was off and he's the only player that was actually playing. So yeah, that was painful. I'm sorry, Xander, for that game, but that's the okay, way. Okay, can can I can I'm I working. can I just say this as as a football fan, right? Not as a Man United, but as a football fan. I, I I don't think Liverpool should have lost to Napoli. I don't think they sh- I don't think they should have. But, but Liverpool, li- Liverpool, <laughs> yeah, and they did. Liverpool, Liverpool just just didn't seem to to have the drive today. And this is the first game uh, they played. They shouldn't have lost to a to a team like uh, Napoli. I don't think. I don't think it's the worst thing to lose, but to lose four one to them really shouldn't yeah. happen. But it's really just I don't know. I think it's just a rough patch. Uh, I'm not as high on their ceiling as I was before the ceiling season started, but I still think they'll end up closer to that. I feel like they're playing about as bad as they can right now. I don't think they can get much worse from here. So I think while I'm not as high on them as I once was, I still think they'll get closer to that elite level that they were before. Yeah. Well, Fair that enough. that and they haven't uh, fully utilized Arthur yet either, so I think... That'll be interesting. Yeah, Arthur's going to be a very interesting signing for this year for them. I think, like you said there, I think they're still in, honestly, not as high like, like you said, Xander. I don't think it's going to be as high as I thought it was, but I still think it's going to be a top four, top three finish for them in the Prem, and I think they'll go up to maybe the semis in the Champions League. Yeah, I so. still... I don't know what to think about Champions League right now, but I still feel very confident about them being top four. I'd be shocked if they won the top four by the yeah. end of the season. Yeah. No. But, you know, I can't wait for Matt for uh, week two when Bayern and Barcelona play. Ooh, that's that's going to be a good one. Oh, yeah. Seven to two. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously, it's going to be a great game, though. I'm still going to go for uh, Bayern Mission, which is – Terrible thing to say, but really, yep. I I'm know. gonna, I'm gonna say Barca is gonna take it. No, no, no. I, I'm not gonna. I don't know who's gonna win, but I'm going for Bayern. 
Uh-huh. Yep. Not choosing money anymore. <laughs> <sighs> I want to die. All right. Okay. Sorry. I need to continue again. Atletico Madrid and Porto was a great game because the last three goals were scored in extra time during the nine minutes of extra time. And Griezmann, Anton Griezmann, Mr. Blue Hair himself, <laughs> who can only play like a limited amount of minutes every game because he exited Barcelona. And that's a weird contract he has. He scored the game winner when almost getting karate kicked in the face by Pepe. So good for Griezmann winning it for Atletico Madrid. All right. And then. Tottenham, Marseille, 2 to nil for Tottenham, continuing their form with Harry Kane. Red card for Marseille. I already went over this. Never mind. What do I have to say? But yeah, that was the Champions League. And <laughs> next next week is going to be great. Is it next week or the week after that? No, I thought not like next week. Yeah, yeah, they have to fit in all these games for, you know, Qatar. I hate it. All right, <laughs> Europa League. Let's just get into this really fast. I mean, they're playing tomorrow. I can say I'm going to go really fast. PSV is playing Bodo Glenn. I have no idea. Zurich is playing Arsenal. Fernebach is playing Dynamo Kiev. Lingardia Leviosa. Um, <laughs> Luda Goretz is playing Roma. Uh, I'm so sorry. Ayek Larnaca is playing Rien. Malmo, Swedish team, is playing Braga. Uh, H- HJK, the brand that's a shoe. Is playing Real Bet- I'm so kidding. I mean, he's playing Real Betis. Union Berlin is playing Union St. Louis. Lazio is playing Feyenoord. And then Manchester United is playing Real Sociedad. It's going to be a great... Wasn't this actually a Europa League final once? Or am I thinking of something else? Or was that, was that like Valencia? Or was that... So... <sighs> Emilia, do you, do you happen to know if this was possibly a fight? No, I think it was Valencia. They played... Huh? Yeah. What? I I didn't hear. I was too busy laughing. What What are you laughing at? That uh, with Guardian Leviosa joke. <laughs> yeah, to keep your mic on. I want to hear that laughter. But, uh, yeah. no, uh, I, just... um, I no. I think it was the Valencia game. Yeah, yeah, the penalties game. That was cool. Yeah. All right, and then someone spammed on a keyboard, and this happened. Uh, Cervantes This is Red Star Belgrade. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Monaco, and then Fren Vyars is playing Trasmavorspor, and then Onomatopoeia, Omenia is playing as Sheriff, and then SK Sturm Graz is playing Mid, 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 we're going to call them Mid, but they're actually a good team, and then Nans is playing Olympiakos, and Olympiakos just currently transferred Marcelo, and then Freiburg is playing Quarterberg FK, but yeah, those are the teams. I'm sorry if I butchered all the names. I know I definitely did, but it is what it is. All right. Well, um, transfer talks. Anything last minute signings that happened in the transfer? I mean, Aubameyang went to Chelsea. I know that. Uh, also, uh, Zerk forgot another Juventus player. Ronnie, do you happen to have the Juventus player that went to Chelsea, the midfielder who's uh, Zakaria? Zakaria, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then Arthur Ar- Arthur went to Liverpool. Yeah, yeah, that's correct too. Mm-hmm. And then Renato Sanchez went to PSG. I know too. So, yeah, I mean, and then Nottingham Forest transferred like nineteen people during the whole <laughs> transfer window. Jesus Christ! All right, now let's go to football memes of the week, and I cannot wait for this. Oh, I just typed on the wrong screen. I cannot wait for this. I wonder what the football memes of the week is going to be today, huh? Do you guys want to guess? Gee, I wonder what it is. Well, I welcome, can only to, imagine. welcome to the football <laughs> beast of the week, everybody. If you're watching on the screen, it's uh, Akin 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 Fibua, who is our lovely mascot for the game. Everybody, thank you for watching this part of the show brought to you by Rivals, Mansers, and Football Means. But the lads, and now let's see what is the football memes of the week. I wonder, it's Chelsea FC. <laughs> <laughs> Let me first just uh, okay. All right, all right. I need to, I'm gonna take off my shirt for this. I'm gonna. <laughs> Oh, no. Calm down, dude. Calm First, down. No, 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 no. Just let me talk. Let me talk. Is Kevin De Bruyne? Okay, okay. Chelsea FC. You ain't got no history. Not anymore. After what you do to me, I'm not making a poem right now. I swear. But Chelsea FC. Um, they currently, if nobody knows, probably a lot of you knows because everybody loves to make fun of Chelsea fans. They did sack Thomas Tuchel. Their coach that won them Champions League, Super League, and the Club World Cup. 
and who has a decent record now, actually, compared to what other people think. Just the beginning of the season, they want to sack him. Why? What? The management came in. Todd Bully came in. I I I miss Roman Abramovich so much, and God bless the FA for not liking Roman Abramovich. And uh, but yeah, but this team first they wanted to kick out our younger players and loan them out or sell them out, which is a big mistake too. Billy Gilmore, that was one of the sh- most shocking moves ever because I believe he has. Even though he's not one of the best U3 now, but at least keep him in. Am I am I right? But and there's still more with that. And also Chelsea's selling some other players as well too, such as Timo Werner, who actually, you know what? Even though he is absolutely sometimes wink in front of the goal, he does give heart for the club and always runs for the ball. So you can't say he's absolute trash. And with this club selling Thomas Tuchel, I am absolutely disappointed. Why? Why on the hell of an earth would you want to get rid of the manager who just won you? This is like the uh, Di Maurizio, I believe. Is, is that his name? The one who just won it for Chelsea. And then the next season, he did piss poor at the beginning of the season. But then again, he had another year. They gave Tuchel literally like two weeks. I, I don't know what Bully's doing. I uh, I I could probably yell more, but I I already got my old screaming out this this morning when it happened, and I I feel a little bit more calm about it. But this move, and also if there's you've seen other transfers that happen, like they want to get um, which is a good replacement, honestly. They want to get um Potter, what's his name, Graham Potter, for Brighton, who's doing an absolutely great job for them, and they want they also signed a couple of sporting direct no a new. Sp- I think a branding director who works with FIFA, which is never a good thing because then they want to make the most money out of the club. And that means selling rights and abusing their power and trying to sign more big money transfers. That's going to take away the pride of the club from using their youth players and all that. So basically Chelsea is wanting to become another Manchester city for the looks of it right now. And I am not for it. I'm not for it at all. Like I was literally talking today to, Xander and Emilio, I, I mentioned it to you, and Rodney, I said, like, I honestly am very tired. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. And although Chelsea fans are already there, probably some of you agree, so probably some of you saying get out of the club. I, But this is not the Chelsea I want to support, honestly. And I hate saying it more than anything. I'm pr- And I was probably, like, more pissed, but I will still probably – Support the club, but it's just sad. It's so sad to see the club doing this now. It's choosing money over the youth and then over the passion of the club. It's disgusting. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to turn into another Manchester City. I mean, yeah. if, if we, if I can go on some rant real quick as, as a Chelsea fan as well. We yep. sold Tamori. We sold Tammy. Mm-hmm. Um, we 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 gave away uh, Billy Gilmore. Um, we're not trusting our youth. Um, and honestly, we could do with Tammy. We could have done with Tammy. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's 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 not looking good, man. As a as a, as a Chelsea fan myself, I I I I mean, honestly, I I felt like Tuchel was gonna be similar to our to Liverpool's Klopp almost. He was just giving that kind of energy, um, but just because he was going through a rough patch, we just axed him. And I get get and I get that like our past as a club is just built on success and axing our managers that they don't do well for a certain period of time. But the whole reason why Aubameyang even came over to Chelsea was for Tuchel, and he only got one game with him. Um, I can just go on and on. I just I just think maybe I could see if it was like another four, five, six, seven, eight games down the road, but it's just too early in the season for me, man. It's too early in the season. And I get that we it's in our DNA to do it, but it was just too early in the season to do it. Yep, that's very true. I I would have thought they would have at least waited to maybe December or maybe even next year, but especially like okay, comparing Frank Lampard to Tuchel, Tuchel has a background. He's gone through game streaks when he was at Dortmund where he's lost and stuff, and then also we're in game momentum back. That's what you're supposed to do as a coach, and he's a trained coach for that. Bully just acted like you know he's a child and is wanted just him out because oh he lost a couple games. <sighs> that's that's. That's not football. That's not what you want to see in your team. You want to trust your manager, especially with you want your management and your coach. Because now Graham Potter is going to come in and he's going to say like, oh, shoot, 
if I lose a couple games, I'm going to be X next too. Because with this type of American ownership, that's how it's been. It's disgusting, and I hate it. But yeah, Rodney, sorry, you were talking. No, 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 no. Like, neither we get another manager. Even if it's Potter or Zidane, it's just, it's just if something about Tuchel's DNA is just going to be missed. He just, he, there's a certain love for the club that he had passion. You don't find many managers, so. Yep. It just really hurt to see him get axed when he has love for all the clubs he, he works at. Yeah, so. and I was hearing that the first thing that Boy didn't like about him is he didn't want Ronaldo. Okay, I will say this. That's one thing I didn't agree with Tuchel with was not him not going for Ray Ronaldo. I think he would have been perfect for Chelsea, but I I digress. I don't think so because I would have think Chelsea would just want to feed in the ball, and you've seen what Manchester United did at the beginning of the season and how piss poor they've done with that, so... I'm happy they didn't get it because they don't want to rely on just one player. So, but I don't, I don't think they would have relied just on him. I think that the, for the style of which we play, I think it would have been perfect because we've been lacking a true goal scorer the whole time to just net away goals, and that's what Ronaldo's good at. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I get that he he wanted a bombing, but I think Ronaldo would have been better, and he would have brought. And I think what the reason why Bowley's also very mad about. Uh, him not getting Ronaldo is he would have gotten a lot of money by bringing him in from uh, the money that Ronaldo brings in. Honestly, like it, I, I, I run. I'm sorry. I hate to say, it, but I don't want to be affiliated with a club that just is focused on making as much revenue as possible. I'm still gonna support him and stuff like that, but that's it's just not my. It doesn't feel good. No, like if. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. It's I'm not, not true gonna... football. It's not true football. It's really no. not. No. I agree with you on that. And I'm. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna completely drop Chelsea and just become a football supporter. I, I was mad at the time. I'm sorry. I regret my statements. <laughs> I made a serious lapse of judgment. <laughs> but no, no, no. no. I, I, I get why you, you said that because, like you were saying earlier, it doesn't feel good to just become like Manchester United, like uh, and just just be in there for the money. Yep. So. I, I agree with you. It doesn't feel good, but I, I, I still have faith in Bully. I just want to see where things go. If yep. it's still like this in the next year or two, you know what, bro? I just might be a Barca fan from here on out. Yep, and I agree with you too. And honestly, like at the time right now, I speak, I'm going to say Frankfurt's my number one team because at least they sell their players and try to make as much money. But then again, they try to bring other people too. But ah, it is what it is. I know <laughs> – and can I can I can I can I say this because I understand the first the frustrations of what you're both are going through mm-hmm. is that I it's going it's it's coming it just reminds me of back when you know Ars, Arsenal and Manchester United were going through it when Arsenal were going through it with um with Wen- Wenger with yeah with with who with Wen- Wenger or Werner awesome Wenger yeah Wenger and um and Man United going to, Going to um uh, Mourinho with all the stars, yeah, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it just it just upsets me that that the um that the what man the manager the the uh, higher ups or the people that are like managing it aren't really going for uh like football like st- like football uh yes that that, that that just football by itself. And then it and then it goes back to when when um when when the the when they were trying to do the uh, the the Super League, yeah for for man for like uh, for man for Man City United Milan and all all of them, they're 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 just going for money, and I and I don't like that. If Manchester I, if Manchester United ever went, and I've said this before on social media, if Manchester United did go to to the Super League. I will drop that. I will drop the jersey. I will sell it all, and I will become uh, a West Ham or Ooh. or or anything or anything else because I would rather see a team that is more passionate for football mm-hmm. than than money. And I'm glad they didn't. But I understand what 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 you and Ronnie are going through. Yep. It pains me to 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 see uh, the 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 more higher up managers going for revenue than they are for football. Yeah, it it just it just makes me upset, and and it needless to needless to say, it just I I just lose like respect. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, as well, too, like I miss Roman Abramovich so so much. Like people, 
we'll be missing him for a long time and also Tusha as well too. They're gonna be missing him for a long time, but it's just sad to see that football is going in this direction, especially with the Super League mm-hmm. as well too, as like how many clubs would shift and just want to jump to that ship. Oh, well, you should oh yeah, you saw you saw how many people were against it mm-hmm. when they were trying to. So many people you have you have Chelsea fans, Arsenal fans, Man United fans, Man City fans, and I think Barca and Real Madrid fans, they're they all just like, no, we don't want this. We we have the Champions League. We don't need uh, this, we don't need this Super League. And I think that's what Chelsea fans need to do now is just is just get together and say, hey, this is not the Chelsea we want to see. And it was stupid for for Chelsea to to sell Tammy because I thought Tammy was gonna do well for the club. Yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, let me. You know, I have to put some light on the situation, and you know, Chelsea is the meme of the week. But let me first introduce you to another meme. Chelsea fans now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Harry Potter news that came out of this. Oh my God! Follow the board. Yes, no. Chelsea fans now. Potter, Potter. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that is that gonna be a thing when he comes in the pitch like Potter, Potter, Potter? Yes, exactly, <laughs> exactly. All right, all right. Now, like next... every every Chelsea fan is wearing Voldemort masks right now. <laughs> yes, we have no hair and we have no nose. All right, let's hear the next meme, and the next meme is Thomas Tuchel. This was sackworthy, apparently. Let's just go over this. He had 100 games, 60 wins, 64 draws, 16 losses, goal scores 60, 168, and goal since he had 77, where 77 is a little high, but with a rebuilding defense, it's kind of hard sometimes, but that's disgusting that they would sack him for this. Man, I uh, I did cry earlier. I'll admit it. I was a man. I did cry earlier because I love Thomas Tuchel. He's one of my favorite coaches of all time honestly but yeah disgusting yeah. okay you see now 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 it's now it just goes to show that like chelsea fans y'all need to get together and make make uh of, of your voices heard and say hey we want the old chelsea back yep. this was pretty stupid and this is what you're it's gonna not get. gonna happen i'm sorry it's just gonna be another like make a stage. protest uh, like they listen all right <laughs> now the next meme this is uh, someone tweeted after the Demo Zagreb game. Trust the po- process. And then the, uh, 12 hours later, what? Because what? that's when they announced that he was getting sacked. Everybody's like, what? Ronnie, I'm sure you were like, didn't even believe it. You didn't believe Bro, it at all. You I probably, woke like, up and I was like, uh, I'm, I'm dreaming. <laughs> yep, yep. I checked Instagram and I was like looking at this. I also had some friends from the UK just text me like, dude, I cannot believe I'm pissed beyond belief. And they and I was uh, no, I was like you're 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 pulling me right now. You're 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 absolutely doing a little little sneaky sneaky you ticky talker. But no, they 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 are no, it's disgusting and I I don't stand for it. But yep, that's the meme. Chelsea is the meme, and that's all I want to say right now. So, all right, everybody, let's end it off on a great note. Thank you for watching the show, everybody watching on YouTube and on Spotify. Xander, thank you for joining. You are a lovely boy, and you have helped me get through my sadness because you are sad as well, too. So, hey, you and Rodney as well, too. So, thank you for being on. So we got you, my guy. Be able to drag others down with you into the sadness and depression. Yeah, that's what life is all about. You have to have some depression to get it. Oh, a doggy. Uh, at least that makes Doggo? me happy. <laughs> but okay, but yeah, everybody. And Emilio, thank you for joining as well, too. At least you're happy out of all of us. So that would not make sense. Even though like two weeks ago, you were opposite. But, you know, football. No, no, yeah. I, I, I'm happy to be here. It's glad to to, to be on the show. And, and I, I really hope we stick. Uh, but I'm... I, for for you, I'm I'll just I'll hug you. Yeah. Because I, I know I know the pain. For I'll give you and Ronnie a hug. Thank you. That's be dad, please. Dad. Okay. All right. Pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> for dramatic effect. For meta dramatic. Okay. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share it. Because without sharing it, how else are you gonna make fun of Chelsea and their doom? Ha ha! And everybody, as we say in three, two. One.
one one love love football. 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 Thank you guys for watching and bye.